the inferior form of money will always circulate and the superior form of money will always be hoarded, aka Bitcoin and dollars. Okay, so what he's basically saying to you is if you want to have a monetary system that has velocity, you have to have an inferior monetary component, something that has a, a worse uh, average future expected value than the store value. Uh, which you would say is the unit of count or the medium of exchange. Uh, and I kind of refer to this as Gresham paradox in our current system, sort of analyzing it more. What I see is how the fiat system has actually been working is these two things exist. The shares in the central bank, the Federal Reserve, mm -hmm. are the inferior or the superior form of money. It's just only 6,000 banks with bank charters have access to that form of money. And the inferior form of money is the dollar. So we don't have access to the superior form of money. Only the banks do. And the we only get access to the, the inferior forms. And it circulates. It has velocity because we use it every day. We price goods in it and it sort of loses 5 to 10% of its value every year. And, but it works as like the monetary asset that circulates. So the idea here is if we're going to create a store of value, we also need to create something that's kind of akin to the dollar that has these properties of velocity and is inferior to the store of value. And that's where the idea of chi came up. So um, basically what Qi is, is a token which is issued relative to the hash rate of the network. And what we've done is we've created sort of this mechanical link such that miners will want to mine Qi if their price of production is less than the market rate. And their price of production is electricity costs in aggregate. So basically what ends up happening is we've created the system where we've created the shelling point, where if everybody in the system plays the game correctly, the value of chi should always tend to the cost of production, i.e. the price of electricity. So what that's done for us is it's created this asset that has relatively stable purchasing power parity globally over time, but also can be slightly inflationary. So we have something that can act as a store or a, a unit of account it can act as a medium of exchange, uh, and it also sort of acts as the inferior form of money here, which will guarantee that if you can scale and if people adopt the system, people will transact in this format, which will generate revenue, which will allow you to sustain your mining.